Hello Aries, thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a you versus them love reading. It'll be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Whatever situation I talk about today, even though I say you versus them, feel free to flip the roles so the roles could be reversed and time is fluid. So whatever I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening or happen in the near future. All right, Aries, let's get into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries, please, regarding the person they are thinking about? This reading is for those of you who already have someone in mind or someone you are in a connection with. Spirit messages for Aries regarding the person they are connecting with, please. I'm going to look at your mutual energies, the energies of the person you're interested in, and then your energies as well. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries in regards to love? Messages for Aries, please. All right, let's look at your mutual energies first. Spirit, what are the mutual energies between Aries and the person they are thinking about? What are the mutual energies between Aries and the person they are thinking about? Please, Spirit. Wow, that is way too many, but Knight of Wands came out. Messages for Aries. What are the mutual energies between Aries and the person they are thinking about? Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, or commented recently. I really appreciate it. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy my readings. And I read all of your comments. So thank you so much. I love hearing from you guys. And most of my comments are positive. So I'm very grateful. All right, let's see Aries. Mutual energies, mutual energies for Aries and the person, okay. Oh, wow. We got five of cups and two of cups. Very interesting energies there, Aries. So sadness, regret, and then a lot of love possibly sadness or regret regarding a connection a soulmate type of connection or just a very strong connection where you both mirror each other interesting so let's look at you aries i'm going to put you on this side and the person you're interested in on this side over here so let's start with you what are the how does aries feel about this connection let's ask that how does Aries feel about this connection? What are Aries thoughts and feelings regarding this connection? Eight of Cups, interesting Aries. You probably walked away from this connection, thought about walking away from this connection. Someone walked away at some point. What are Aries thoughts and feelings towards this connection? The Empress. Interesting. The Empress is a uh, very successful, abundant. She has it all. She has no need for anything. Everything she touches turns into gold. She is creative. She expands. She's, she grows. What are Aries thoughts and feelings towards this connection? The fool, interesting. I feel like whoever this is, you Aries or the person you're connecting with because roles can be reversed. You're thinking about heading towards something new altogether. Somewhere where you can grow, where you can harvest, where your efforts can bring something sustainable. It's like long-term. You're thinking about the long-term Maybe this person, because some of your readings recently have been about someone not treating you right or not them feeling like they want a do-over, them feeling like they need to fix things. I know that you've had re uh, readings like that recently, so that could explain this Five of Cups. And I feel like you're done. You're headed towards something new altogether. I mean, what I see here is someone who has their back turned completely here 
you know, just looking forward, not looking back. And then we have the fool. So something new, a leap of faith, trying something new here. And then we have the empress. So it's almost like you have it all. You don't need anybody. Um, but I also feel like you're looking for love. Because you're both thinking about two of cups, five of cups. This is your mutual energies. One or both of you are thinking about a connection and having regrets or sadness, dis disappointments. So let's look at your person, Aries. Whoa. Tell me about the thoughts and feelings that Aries person has towards this connection spirit. How does Aries person think or feel about this connection? Whoa. Well, there's that Knight of Wands that came out again. Fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of passion behind this action movement here. And then we have the Three of Wands. So almost like looking out, seeing something, waiting for something, um, wanting to venture out towards something here with the Three of Wands. OMG, and of course we get the Six of Cups. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Um, I, I feel like I should call this channel the Six of Cups channel <laughs> because I always get the Six of Cups. It drives me nuts, and you know, I've already had I've already had this explanation in other videos where I'm just like, I'm sorry, I have to mention it. Yes, it could be someone from your past. I do feel though, for the Aries that I am connecting with today, I feel like this is someone you already know because there's disappointment here. There's sadness here. You can't have sadness about someone you don't, you haven't already dealt with, right? And to some extent. So this could be someone that you've either been with for a long time. There might be children involved for some of you. For others of you, this is a very strong connection with the Six of Cups. Um, a lot of good memories, a lot of nostalgia here. This person could just be missing you and thinking about you. with the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Wands. So I really do feel there was some sort of, you know, we have two five here, challenge, challenges, change. Um, I feel like someone here was dealing, I mean, there was some drama involved, some disagreement, some arguing, some fighting, some just not getting along, um, possibly also interference in your connection because this is a lot of people here. Um, so I feel like in the past or possibly in the present, things are not going so well between the both of you, um, either in the past or in the present. So let's clarify these energies for Aries. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Aries regarding the person they are thinking about. There's the Five of Cups again with the Four of Cups. Messages for Aries regarding love, please. Messages for Aries, please. And I just saw the Five of Swords. Yeah, with the Magician. Hmm. Let's start with this Eight of Cups. Whoa, okay. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups, please, Spirit. Okay. Okay, there's the Magician again with the Queen of Pentacles. You're manifesting something more stable, more long-term, which it was the energy that I got when I first saw the Empress here. Um, you want somewhere you can grow, somewhere you can spend. It's almost like you don't want to waste your time, Aries. You're thinking about somewhere where you can settle down and it's like this is what you're manifesting and you're walking towards that. What else for this Eight of Cups for Aries? Yeah, because you've been heartbroken with the Three of Swords. You've possibly been betrayed or put in a third party situation or you've just are trying to heal or leave behind this painful, I feel like painful history is what I'm hearing. It's almost like this has been going on for a while and you finally manifested a way out. I have the moon at the bottom of the deck. So you probably did this in secret or things were revealed that led you to make this decision. Tell me about the Empress for Aries. Oh, that's way too many. Tell me about the Empress for Aries, please. I keep getting so many cards. So I'm gonna take Justice 
And then the Fool is at the bottom of the deck. If you're interested, I have the Fool again and then the Hangman. So I'm really thinking that um, a lot of you took your time in making this decision. And you've been thinking about, again, balance here, making something right. This could have possibly for some of you be, been some sort of divorce or something serious like that, like the dissolution of a contract or something like that. Tell me more about the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra here, a Earth sign, Virgo or Gemini. This is also Aries with the Fool. Tell me more about the Empress for Aries, please. Why is the Empress? Wow. Six of Cups again. Six of Cups and Justice, a rebalancing of the past. It's almost like you want to You made a final decision about the past, a, de a, de a deciding, there was a deciding factor here or something final here with justice. Let's get one more. Tell me more about the Empress, please. I see Empress here. I see Empress here. Nine of Swords, yeah, there's something here with the past you want out of this. This has been stressful. You've had a lot of, you know, maybe you've been restless. Maybe you've been feeling guilt or fear regarding this decision, but I see you making it because I have the Fool. The star at the bottom of the deck, sign of Aquarius. What I'm seeing is a lot of you probably lost faith in this connection or are trying to heal from this connection because I do have a three of swords there. Tell me about the fool for Aries. Why is the fool here, spirit? Tell me about the fool, please. Why is the fool here? Yeah, because you're taking back your power. There you are, Aries with the Emperor. You are not you're not fooling around here. Pun intended. <laughs> You're not messing around. This is a decision that you made, that you thought about. Um, you're taking your power back. You're doing things your way this time. Tell me more about the fool. I'm also getting, you want structure. Yeah, look at this, five of swords came out again here. So there was some sort of situation you were in that, um, was a no-win situation. Someone had an unfair advantage here. Someone took advantage. Someone cheated or just was unfair to you in some way. And I feel like you decided to walk away from this losing battle. Let's get one more. Tell me more about the fool. Spirit, what else can you tell me about the fool? King of Cups. And I feel like this was an, a decision that you, you are emotionally mature now, Aries. You are in a different state of mind. You have control of your, of your emotions. The Emperor here with the King of Cups, I feel like this is someone that has mastered their emotions, that doesn't let their emotions carry them away. Um, I do feel like this was a decision that you really thought about a lot you or this person that you're dealing with because because roles can be reversed um this could be um a water sign that you have you've been dealing with but more than anything i see this as you acknowledging how you feel but not letting it rule you there's a three of wands you're headed somewhere new with the fool and the three of wands so let's clarify this Two of Cups, Five of Cups. I really should have clarified this first, but for some reason I wanted to start with you. So tell me about this Two of Cups and Five of Cups energy, please, Spirit. Tell me more, please, about this Two of Cups, Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Someone was holding back or not sharing, not wanting to let go of this connection as well. King of Wands, another fire sign there. Tell me more. 
Oh, there's two of cups. And five of cups, please. Tell me more. Oh, there's two of cups. Five of cups, please. Seven of pentacles, okay. Let's get one more before I share what, I, what I'm seeing. Tell me more, please, about this two of cups, five of cups energy. Tell me more. Yeah, there's the five of wands again. Yeah, so what I'm seeing is you could be dealing with a fire sign or this could be use you Aries. But I almost get the sense that you were, there was pop possibly chemistry in this connection um, emotion in this connection, but someone took that back because they were seeing that their efforts were not growing, not getting anywhere. They were putting time and effort and energy into something that just ended up in drama in arguing and disagreements. It wasn't worth it. You felt like you wasted your time here is what I see. And then you were kind of like, either you or this other person were just like, well, forget it. I'm just, I'm not going to share anymore. I'm not going to put any more of my energy into this. Um, that's what I'm seeing. And that's why there's regret here and disappointment. Because something happened in this connection where it, it almost looked like it had potential, but it never got anywhere. There's the Empress at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you recognized your worth. The Empress knows her worth. She has, like I said, she lacks nothing. She doesn't need anybody. So I feel like you, someone here recognized their worth and got out of Dodge. We're like, I'm not gonna deal with this anymore. So let's look at your person. Remember, roles can be reversed. Let's start with this knight of wands so knight of wands energy um very impulsive very quick um wants to deliver a message wants to just kind of like just get moving sometimes the knight of wands doesn't think very much before they act it's very um a, um restless type of energy so let's see what's this knight of wands about what's the knight of wands here the high priestess okay this is also the player of the tarot so there's the three of wands again what else can you tell me about this knight of wands for aries okay so we got the high priestess so i'm getting either someone has been listening to their intuition or trying to seek spiritual guidance or there was just someone not sharing keeping things hidden keeping things to themselves with the high priestess and then i had right after that the three of wands again second time this shows up for this person so again this person i feel like they were waiting to move to make a move here um to make an offer here with the ace of pentacles but then i have the queen of swords so this is someone who it could be interpreted two ways either this person is going to reveal what they've kept hidden uh, and be very direct and honest about how they feel um, but they could also view you like this Aries like someone that's not willing to listen someone that doesn't have time for the BS someone who might not be um, emotionally open to them but regardless they want to make a move because they really want they want to make this offer Eight of Wands under the deck. So again, movement, communication. So what are they waiting for? Tell me more about this Three of Wands. Okay. So they're waiting to communicate. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. That's, that's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for the right time to send a message, to communicate. I'm not going to take these, but I'll show you what they are. Um, temperance and six of wands so they want victory um, this could be a Sagittarius possibly or have Sagittarius in their chart um, but whoever this is they they're trying to find the right way to go about this to have victory to have success 
they're going back and forth two of pentacles under the deck they're going back and forth because they don't know how to how to make this move or if you're going to be open to them and i don't really see that you might be aries to be honest but we'll see tell me more about the six of cups again i get the sense this person misses you thinks about the good times reflects on the past um, I do feel like this person might be the one that has regrets here or disappointment, but this could also be you, Aries, that are just sad about what didn't happen. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups about spirit? Seven of Wands. Interesting. You could have blocked this person or just kept your guard up against this person, put up walls against this person. This person could also be wanting to protect um, something that they value, which to me looks like they value what you guys had. Um, and they could be wanting to fight for this, stand up and fight for this. Interesting. King of Swords, Eight of Cups. So I really feel like, why do we have Eight of Cups for either of you? Both of you. This person could just be sad that you're gone, but then I have the King of Swords. So this person could have cut something out or maybe they caused you to leave like their energy there this king of swords energy this is air um gemini libra aquarius energy with the king of swords king of swords he can be very harsh um he doesn't uh show a lot of emotion and so there probably was something here where um this person might have caused you to walk away from them or they have decided to walk away from you and block this in some way interesting did you guys walk away from each other at different points in your life or did this person walk away from a third party because i have a three of swords here let's ask spirit why is the eight of cups here why the eight of cups thank you Page of Cups. Okay. So this person could be walking away to make an apology of some sort. This person possibly could have walked away from you in the past and regrets it. Or they want to make you stay. Almost like they see you're leaving and they're like, no, please don't go. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Tell me more. That's way too many. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups, please. Where's the Eight of Cups here, Spirit? Where's the Eight of Cups here? Judgment. Okay, so this person, yeah. This person, I feel, this is what I'm getting. This person has had some sort of wake-up call here with the Judgment card. Um, really looking at the past here evaluating their past actions and it's like their past actions possibly caused you to walk away and they want to make things right um they want to come at you direct to tell you that they want to fight for this to tell you it's almost like they're being very brave here um i don't see fear on their end at all or like hesitation other than trying to figure out how to do this um but it could possibly be that this person wants to apologize for either walking away from you or for making you walk away. Yeah, let me know in the comments if this situation resonated with you. I love hearing from you guys. Um, thank you so much again for checking out this video. Um, I hope that it resonated with most of you. Um, I hope that you're all well and safe and healthy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.